I, I, didn't, I did not have a, a sort of happy childhood, to be frank. It was quite, quite rough. Um, it, it took me a while to understand things that most people uh, intuitively understand. I, I think one aspect of whatever condition I had um, was I was just a absolutely obsessed with truth. I was just obsessed with truth. I actually slept, well, I slept on a couch at one point on a, in a tent on the roof. But for a while there, I was just sleeping uh, under my desk, which is out in the open in the factory. Um, and, and for an important reason. And it was damn uncomfortable sleeping on that floor. And always, when I woke up, I'd smell like metal dust. I just slept on the floor under my desk. So, that the, so during shift change, the entire team could see me. Life can't just be about solving one problem or another. The, there need to be reasons to be inspired. There you are know, reasons that, that move your heart and say, yes, the future's gonna be great. You know, when you get up, you know, when you wake up in the morning, I can't wait to see what happens next. Suppliers didn't take us seriously. Um, like, we could get hardly any of the, the A of the best suppliers would have told you. So, but then we, we had to do a, just put a lot of the stuff ourselves. We both really great at all. This was a video game, the setting is just extreme difficulty. Not impossible, but extreme difficulty. I mean, there's been many times where I expected to lose everything. Not, you know, uh, I mean, who starts a car company and a rocket company expecting it to succeed? Certainly not me. I thought they both had less than a 10% chance of success. And frankly, uh, I wasn't wrong uh, in that in 2008, we had the third failure of SpaceX, and if the fourth launch had failed, SpaceX would be dead in 2008. Um, we didn't have no money for a fifth launch. And for Tesla, uh, we were, Tesla's got, got, been on the verge of bankruptcy many times. Um, so, but we were able to just barely raise enough money to squeak by um, and close the financing round for Tesla uh, on the last hour of the last day that it was possible. And if we had not closed that financing round, then it would have gone bankrupt two days after Christmas. The first controlled powered flight was 1903 with the Wright brothers. Um, and then 66 years later, we put, put the first people on the moon. I mean, that, if you'd ask people, say in 1900, what are the odds of, you know, man landing on the moon, they would have said, that's ridiculous. Um, and if you talk, try to talk to them about the internet, they would not even know what the heck you even, what are you talking. even talking about? Like, this sounds so crazy. So I think the, the one thing that we can be quite certain of is that any predictions we make today for, the, for what the future will be like in 50 years will be wrong. Try to be useful. Um, you know, do things that are useful to your fellow human beings, to the world. It's very hard to be useful. If you live a useful life, that is a good life, a life worth having lived. Basically, try to ingest as much information as you can uh, and try to also just develop a good general knowledge. Um, so, so you at least have like a rough lay of the land of the, the knowledge landscape. Um, like try to learn a little bit about a lot of things. Because um, you might not know what you're really interested in. How would you know what you're really interested in if you at least aren't like doing it peripheral exploration of broadly of, of the knowledge landscape. Um, and and you know, talk to people from different walks of life and different uh, industries and professions and skills and occupations. Like just try you know, to learn as much as possible. Like I said, I would, I would encourage people to read broadly um, in many different subject areas. Then, Try to find something where there's an overlap of your talents and and what you're interested in. So people may may, may be good at something, but or they may have sk skill at a particular thing, but they don't like doing it. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to try to find a, a good uh, combination of things that you're inherently good at, but you also like doing. You really want to make sure you don't you're not operating um, without realizing it from a zero sum mindset where the only way to get ahead is to take things from others, then that's going to result in you take, trying to take things from others, which is not, not good. It's much better to work on uh, adding to the economic pie.
like I said, create, creating more than you consume. I, I think there is a tremendous amount of potential um, that it will be very difficult to achieve, but I think possible. Um, and I think ultimately it could be one of the most valuable companies in the world.